see if you're noticing this in your, um, the shaming going on. And I say in our industry. So if you are a business owner, a speaker, you need to help support your business and people getting to know you. If you're out there with hashtag speaker locking arms, where you're really learning to use your vocals to really express who you are. And there's a journey that you have to go on before you can express and understand, you know, how to express yourself. My name is Rhonda. I am a host and a guide in our group, Fresh Talks Global Vision. And anywhere else you're seeing this, I really appreciate so much about the mindset. I, I care about it so much that I paid um, some stuff to be able to get mindset transformation entertainment as a trademark. There's a lot of shaming going on in our industry, and I want to really focus in on that. When, tell me if you're see, hearing this stuff in our world. Um, we're, we're teaching people to, and this is what the shaming is, we're teaching people to be self-centered, to be thinking only about themselves. And I'm hearing this consistently because it's different because I'm in my mid fifties. It's different than it was when I was growing up. It was like, don't be seen and heard, be quiet. If you're not an expert, you got to, you have to build your influence. Nobody wants to listen to you. But right here and now, this stuff about getting to know ourselves. Hi, Tony. Hi, Marlies. About getting to know ourselves is essential. We're going to be able to do two things, but, but way more than this. It's not all inclusive. We're going to be able to heal our body. Now that's a crazy claim, but I'll just give you 25 years of the health industry and studying this like every day. I'm always seeking this stuff because I love it. I know I've been supposed to be in this type of industry when I was four years old. I have a story about that, but I won't go into that right now. Calm your nervous system, getting to know yourself, understand why you're showing up the way you're showing up. These things are really important. This is not you being self-centered. This is not you being self-centered, but we keep hearing out there that if you're saying, I am this, or I'm feeling this, or I'm discovering this, that all of a sudden, you know, the whole thing about like, it's not all about you, but what if you really in your heart, it really isn't all about you, but you know that your body needs to heal. You're tired of your chronic pains. You're tired of people talking over you or that you're aggressive and you're like, that's not working for me anymore. How do I get to know myself? Hi, Tracy. Nice to see you, my friend. That's number one. How can I take care of my body in a way where I'm not sizzling in my body because people are saying things or they're saying things about me or you're hearing stuff that's making you, know, you feel uncomfortable in this world? Like, how can we be cohesive with what's really going on out there so we can kind of let it go and learn how to live in this world so we don't get sick? We don't want to be sick. We want to be able to manage our emotion and it can affect our four walls. I'm in my office right now, but I'm at the Fresh Inspiration Ranch. So first thing is, how does it affect your body when people are shaming and blaming and really sharing with you, um, oh, you're being selfish or you're learning to be more emotional because you're, you're, you're in tune with things that aren't allowing you to speak your truth. And that can be old relationships that you've had in your, in your life for a while. And you're trying to transition that and say, hey, this is how I feel. Well, you didn't say that before. It's like, yes, but this is how I feel. So we're not being self-centered. We're being self-aware. Self-aware is way different. Self-centered, you know what that is? So when you're in your cerebral, like we were taught years ago, and that you're in survival mode, and so all you can think about is yourself, and that is like, people are calling it narcissist, which I bet you there are like a quote unquote narcissist person. But when you're in fight or flight, which this world is telling you you need to be because the cerebral is about battling, about fighting, not in your heart and being cohesive and saying, hey, you're saying something that's not very nice. Well, you're being too sensitive. Mm -hmm. So if you're in your brain, like we were trained, because you don't learn this emotional IQ, and tell me how you feel about this. I mean, this is this is down your line. This is where we hashtag speaker locking arms. This is where we're using our vocals, but we got to know what our vocals are. Like, what are we expressing who we are? Second thing, your business is not going to grow. Come on, people who are owning businesses, anybody here or anybody that's a coach, anybody that's actually up leveling for even in corporate, 
<clears throat> or you're in a small business and you want to get up to that next step or you, oh, there's just so many reasons why you want to be speaking your vocals. This is going to affect your future if you blast off when somebody comes at you. And they go, oh, you just need to be, you know, more emotionally equipped to like cut your emotions off, which I used to do. 10 years in corporate as a CPA. So I did a lot of consulting um, through my years as a business, um, helping businesses, helping departments, depending on what I was doing. So if we are running business and we don't want a lot of triggers, we really do want to know about ourselves. This is not self-centered. Up here in the brain and trying to ask all these questions and wait for the brain to answer, it's way different than when you're in your heart and you can feel it. You can feel it. How are we going to change this world if we keep practicing these things? If we keep practicing, where can this take us? I think of this as a global vision. What is your global vision? What is your view in this world that you want things changed? You're like, gosh, dang it. I'm so tired of being on thyroid medicine. I'm so tired of us not opening up our vocals. I'm so tired that we want to say something that we don't because we think in our brains, our brain will say, you're not that smart. You're not, um, you're not influencer enough to be able to say these things. And you're like, so it shuts you down. Aren't you tired of being shut down? Aren't you tired of your chronic pain? Because every time you tighten your body, that flow stops. We have a lot of heart attacks in my family. I used to cut people off in the heart, like myself, like you're not worthy, you're not lovable. I'd look at my body and I would say, that's wrong, that's wrong. Everything's wrong about you. And I didn't want to be in my skin. Any of this show up for you? I'm giving you so much love out there with the hashtag Truth Friday today. Think about where you feel shamed. Think about where you want to stop the shaming. If you go into my tree, rondaliebig.com forward slash tree. This has a myriad of things that I have. Look for Global Vision. It's a free series. Go in there. Get yourself in chat. What do you want your global vision to be? I believe freedom, safety, and healing. We need to heal in these pillars to make our first 250000 in our business. I believe we need resilient passion and innovation to make 250 and above to 500,000 in our business. I believe, excuse the writing over this because it adjusts as we go along, that we need our business in alignment, our lifestyle in alignment, and our health at the top level to make the first million in our business. These were all created just by believing in intuition. Believing in myself, that anything that was coming to me, there was a purpose, that I wasn't shutting it down. I've gotten a lot of shame in my life. I was taught at a very young age not to cry. Anybody else here? We're almost done with the Truth Friday. I was taught that you're strong. Now, me as a Woman, we used to kind of, you know, we got our feelers out there. And come on, men who are really in tune. Come on. You get this where you're just like, I can feel my emotion. I was told to not be seen and heard. I think that was our generation. I used to have somebody go, nah, 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 and like take pictures of me when I was pouting. Pouting was me shutting down in pain, not being able to express myself. That followed me through my life. So what are the things that were showing up that were tethered on that base? And by the way, it doesn't matter who did that in that scenario, because let's forgive. It has nothing to do with them. This is your experience that you get to claim. We're not blaming here. No more blaming and shaming. 
Let's just understand our base of what we're working with. There are so many things that happened to me as a kid. I want to give you kudos for whatever you worked through or working through. We will constantly be working through our stuff to up level. But keep the smile on your face, really. Do. Because we need you out there. Because we don't want those base things that happened in that those scenarios to stop you. I have a five-year vision for a bigger global vision. It's around the mindset transformation entertainment, but it literally, literally is a humanitarian project I'm doing. It's not physically going out there and building stuff. It's emotionally bringing up the emotional IQ that we have not learned through school that we need to discover. And a lot of us discover it when we're entrepreneurs because all that pain and exposure that we get, you're not going to have a business. There's no way. You're going to keep stopping yourself. How can you keep yourself motivated? Being yourself. Being yourself. These are all just things I'm claiming that nobody else will ever be able to replicate because it's my own words. So if you go into my global vision for video series, it's free. You are going to put your own words together. If you put your own words together, you got yourself a system. First thing is, I have programs. I have the freedom program. I have the safety program. I have the healing program, which is around health. I've been in the health industry for 25 years. I consulted and learned to consult throughout the 10 years of me doing accounting, which was auditing, which was being accounting manager, helping people make decisions. I learned so much about consulting. I learned so much about listening. And so what are all the things that you have done in your life? That has brought you to who you are now. Don't just show up every day and just feel all those things that have stopped you. Get into truth. Build everything that you have done in your life. I had a paper out when I was uh, in kindergarten. And it started from there. Learning and discovering about taking money for my services. About being on the hook for wrapping the newspapers. For throwing them out there when I was in kindergarten. I did that. What are the things that you want to claim that you're like, oh, hmm, pretty interesting. Let's get out there. Let's help this world stop the shaming. Let's educate people on there's no such thing as self-centered. Unless those people who are in their cerebral, we are going to be in fight or flight constantly because that's what the brain, the rep, that's what our brain is known for. That's the reptilian brain. But when you bring the heart and brain cohesiveness, it flows. You become extremely smart. 40,000 neurons in your heart that work like a brain. So when you're healing and learning about yourself, you're healing the brain here. You're healing the brain here. You have the heart. You are extremely smart. Your heart shares a lot. Your heart shares a lot. Put your hand to your heart. Take a deep breath in. You've got this. Here's Truth Friday. Mwah. Get into action. If you want to know more about my five-year plan and you are a speaker, I really want to talk to you. That means you feel like, oh my gosh, this is speaking to me. If you are looking to build your global vision, ours is hashtag speaker locking arms. And this is, we have 60,000 views on this right now. It just keeps building because we're out there making a change. And it's small relative to where we will keep going. Where do you want to go? Allow yourself to be small and then explode it. And you got to love on it. you got to keep loving on it. So you want to know what your biggest goal is about changing this world. There's a lot of stuff out there. It's really big. But don't look at that. Look at where you are. Get up in the morning. Watch the sunrise. Notice you're this small relative to the universe, but you are not alone. So you are this big also when you realize... All the energy commingles together. So you are not alone. You're not just this small. Sometimes you'll feel like it because you'll think individual. But let people partner and understand and communicate. There's eight ways to communicate. And if you want that, I don't know where it is, but I could send it to you if you want that. But think about where you're going here. Thank you, Tony, Marlise, Tracy, 
Uh, Lou Bartone, I love and appreciate you guys so much. You just keep coming in. Add to the comments. Add just a hello. I don't care. Because our likes are not, uh, or loves or hearts, whatever, on when we're doing social media, it doesn't matter. Because this one person that's watching your video, we're going to replicate that effect just like the smile does. And things will get bigger and bigger as you learn to communicate. But you're also dealing with algorithm and stuff. And why fight it? Just show up. Things will happen exactly the way at the divine space. I know there's so many miracles happening every day. Okay, we're done now. Love you.